Astroneer is a pretty chill game where we, the player, can literally shape the world. But what's also in the game are a bunch of collectible research items. And if you're like me and you go, I'm gonna collect every single one of them and I'm gonna put them on display. Yeah! Well, then this video is for you. Silva is our starting planet. It has a pleasant environment and it is the safest place to look for research items. There are a total of 9 research items that are unique to Silva, and of the 9 research items, you can easily find 4 of them out in the open, 2 with a bit of digging, and 3 that will take you underground. We'll start with the seed research items. To find the tree seed research item, all you have to do is walk up to a tree and pick it up. To find the shrub seed, however, you'll have to kill some plants. Look around for small plants that have research samples growing on them. All you have to do is dig below them, and if you're lucky, you'll find what you're looking for. The seed research items give you 460 bytes and 720 bytes. They look like a plant, and hence, they would naturally fit well in your gardens. Moving on to the hill research items. These research items are all on the surface, and they are quite easy to spot. To put it simply, you need to look for little pillars. The grass hill item can be found on planes, and you're very likely to find more than one in a single spot. For the ravine hill item, you need to look for ravines, while they are usually out in tall pillars. As for the stone hill item, they are usually at the side of mountains, so just go up to them and pick them up. The hill research items give off between 450 bytes to 500 bytes, depending on which one you're researching. Their design is just stony, so you won't be decorating with them anytime soon. Speaking of decorations, let's look at the shattered research items. Unlike the previous research items, these items have an interesting design. Let's start with the shattered coal. To find this, you need to dig below tiny pillars with research samples by the side of mountains, and it is a search by chance. To find the shattered emerald, you can easily find it within the first four subterranean layers either lying about or hiding under some small stalagmite with research samples. To find the shattered ruby, you have to go all the way down into the bottom two subterranean layers, just right before the core. And like the Shattered Emerald, it's either lying around or hiding underneath some stalagmite with research samples on them. The Shattered research items give off a significant amount of bytes, which is more than the previous ones so far. The Shattered Ruby itself gives off 900 bytes, which is also the most in Silva. Finally, there is the Mushroom research item. This research item cannot be found within these small subterranean layers because obviously, there isn't much room for mushroom to grow. To find it, you are going to need to go to Silva's subterranean cathedral layer where you are going to see this volume of humongous fungus that give off light and it's honestly one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in Silva. So all you need to do is walk up to one of these huge mushroom structures and just pluck out the mushroom item from right below it. And there you have it. The mushroom research item gives off 675 bytes and it looks pretty awesome on display. And that is because not only does it have a very unique shape, it is also the only research item on Silva to give off light. Now that you know where to find all the research items on Silva, here's a ranking of their research value. And here's my ranking of their design value. And to put them into tiers, I put the Ravine and Stonehill item into D tier, and that's because they almost look the same, and I'm not even colorblind. The Grass Hill item goes into C tier because it still has a unique color. For B tier, you have your seeds that blend well in a garden. For A tier, you have the Shattered Coal and Shattered Emerald that is display worthy. And for S tier, you have the Shattered Ruby because it's no doubt the prettiest, and you have the Mushroom. And this is because it glows, it fits well in the garden, and it's 100% unique in its shape and colour. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments below on which research item is your favourite. I recently found this open piece of land in Glacio, and I've decided to use it as an exhibit for all the research items I will cover in this series. So stay tuned for future videos about collectibles from other planets. That's going to do it for today. If you enjoy my content, be sure to leave a like and share it with all of your Astroneer buddies. 
If you want to see more videos from me, consider subscribing and ring the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. That's it from me. My name is Sandvox Nate. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.